hydraulic power on, light bulb on, and that's pretty much it. I've started up. These two buttons control the shuttles back and forth, close and opening. So you pull both down and close the front and back shuttle. So when they're closed, these two will be white, let you know they're fully closed. And then after that, you'll take this, loosen it, and drop it until it touches the part. You will hold the picture of the hand, you'll push that to get it to go to auto. And then this number one you hold till it goes to plus zero. You'll press the button right here that says program. And the row number one is the row we always use no matter what. Uh, you'll press length. And then you will press that, that. You'll enter the length of the cut. Press enter. Uh, cut reset. You'll hold that down and it'll start blinking. And then you'll zero out the cuts. Go back to home, and all you have to do is press the blade, the green blade symbol, and it. different materials like steel and stuff like that, but 99.9% .9 of the time we just don't even touch it because it's in that happy spot for aluminum. It just cuts through like the stainless little bars we do with this line too. Yeah. And this is for blade speed, like how fast it's rotating, but we keep it at the most speed. Uh -huh. 